This is very. How dare you? I forgot. My bad. All right, will you bring it? It's morphin' time. All right, so now we're gonna get to our main topic here. Uh, we're we're I, I'm I'm kind of struggling on what to call this here. This is iconic movie outfits draft. Is that does that sound a little wordy to you? Yeah, uh, I mean it works. It's just weird because like it's also we're doing a like a whole mishmash of things. I don't I don't know. Like we're not just picking an outfit. We're picking components of an outfit. Maybe our guests. Well, we're building an outfit. Yes, I know. This is true. It could be a build a, a build a movie outfit draft. I don't know. There's a lot of contrast here. Anyway, we're we're bringing on uh you know a, a Maxinista, if you will, here. Uh, uh Fleetwood J Mac. You follow him on Twitter for all the hot takes or any gripes or maybe maybe even a Mac Grill uh grid info there. Uh, he is uh-huh. one half of the Mac and Goo program. Mac and Goo at the movies. Smash that like button on YouTube. It is uh Jeffrey McNamara. <laughs> For trillions of years, only one name has been synonymous with the world of high fashion. Jeffrey McNamara. With a keen eye for complementary colors. The colors don't complement each other. Jeffrey. So they're clashing hardcore. McNamara. And giving us the fashion standpoint in letter grade form. From a fashion standpoint, this is an F. And lastly, his three favorite articles of clothing. T-shirts. Jet. Golf balls. Jerseys. McNamara. So they're clashing hard. This is an From a fashion standpoint, this is an They're clashing hard. From a fashion standpoint, so they're clashing hard. McNamara. This is so good to hear that sounder again for the first time in quite some time. Incredibly, incredibly long. Boys, it's good to be here. Uh, Nicholas, as a one-time anal ring toss champion, uh, it could be either a cigar tube or something else that, that mm, holds, mm-hmm. holds that spot. And the rings are the little light-up sticks, little glow sticks made into ring form. And you mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. throw them. Interesting. So, okay. I've got a bunch of party coming up myself in Newport. Oh, so Ooh. yeah. So you're, you're familiar. It's a great time. Uh, you you want to make sure you don't you don't slam dunk. Uh, no, that mistake no. has happened once before and then it ended. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he took a hard foul him. right after that. <laughs> he did not get an invite to the fraternity. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy uh, to be you here. Live and you learn. Yeah, I'm happy to be here to be drafting uh, some fashion items today. I my main issue here, and again, I didn't know really how to what to call it either. Outfit, you know clothing accessories yeah. um i feel like all my shit's gonna clash so i'm trying to build an outfit that someone might wear too i don't know if that's gonna be possible i wish that because my mind's gonna be so out there i wish that i know we have obviously billy d but he's plenty busy and, and joe's busy but maybe the other billy d we could get on this in some way i would love to see somebody mat mishmash all of these outfits together and then oh, put right. our yeah. heads on That's them and then maybe idea. give them give them a grade or something i like that, that. i like yes that absolutely them. and maybe we'll actually put a poll out for once too that's that's a nice recurring theme <laughs> mm, you didn't do we it last use- week the, the polls are being used for anal ring toss that's what's happening I'm <laughs> oh, not wow. available right now um, <laughs> commitment but but uh while i explain the rules here because they're going to be very uh long and convoluted here nick can you pull up a, a draft generator Already got it. Already got oh, you the order. got it pulled up. Oh, that's beautiful here. Wow, okay, so look at you guys. I'm gonna have to do this on the fly then. So we're gonna be drafting six positions here. We got one shirt, one pair of bottoms, pants, shorts, anything like that. Maybe get creative. Maybe a pair of uh, speedos. Who knows? Oh, uh, shoes of sh- of some sort. And then you have a jacket, hoodie, vest, a coat, something. You know, something to go over your shirt. Uh, and then accessory number one accessory number two those are kind of like free plays you know those could be a watch that could be earrings sunglasses hat a belt. i got I, who I, knows there's uh i got nipple rings there's there's a lot you could oh well, you could do that yes this is true i got mm-hmm. weird with it i'm curious where you're going to stand on some of these Wes. um we'll do honorable mention at the end too for things that didn't get of course of like course that. yeah yep, yep, yep. okay I, All right. I had a really hard time preparing the bottoms for this I have not a lot of bottoms. I have a list of three, so I'll be okay. But I had a hard time finding them. I I will tell you, it might be forced off the board. Board then, first (laughs) off the board. Oh, okay. We'll see. I uh, I don't want to tip my hand either way, but I will give us the draft order here. So uh, the draft draft generator that I used gave us Mac drafting first overall, coming in at number two. The sandwich pick is going to be Wesley Sykes. 
Oh, and then, got uh, and then I man. am last. Uh, and obviously we are doing this snake draft style because Keith is not on the show. So we're safe to do that. Oh. Um, but yes, that is, uh, that's what we're doing. And as you mentioned, Wes, we are drafting for six categories, whatever order you want to go in. Uh, Mac, you, uh, we we're picking anything from TV and film, correct? That's where we've limited it to. Uh, well, I was just going with movies, but I, if, if I you, also if you prepared, yeah. uh, Ooh, okay. Nope. That's what you guys did. All right. Okay. And, uh, fucking, uh, well, I mean, that's... you can take TV stuff. We'll just boo you. Yeah. Yeah. It was, oh, it no. was very Asterisk. clear. The instructions were very clear. Nick. Oh no. My <laughs> fuck. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, 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 all right. All right. I'm fine. We'll be fine. Go ahead. Uh, well, and before we get started here, just real quick, I, I just maybe keep this in mind at the end. Question for the end here: What are you going to be doing in this drafted outfit? You know, maybe maybe keep that in mind. Okay, all right, mm, good question. Good okay, something to think about there. Yeah. Okay, but yes, Mac, with the first overall pick, please lead us off. All right, so I'm actually stoked I got the number one pick because I'm building my whole outfit around this. Now it may end up being my accessory. Uh, but mm, I'll draft it mm -hmm. here is in the jacket hoodie vest category. I'm taking Marty McFly's red vest from Back to the Future. Ooh. It's just completely iconic. And as an over thing, it allows it's it's sort of an accessory, but it allows a, a shirt underneath or a sweater underneath to shine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's nice. It's definitely stowed out there. It's a little too puffy, though. You know, like it, I, it's I like a, a thinner puffy. vest, but, you know, no, for, of the error, it stands out for sure. Damn, that's a good pick, Mac. I it didn't even cross my mind. That's that I like that one. Shit. So okay. this I I only have one shirt picked out here because I poor, probably poor research. I didn't really expand too much about one what I want to do. Much like what Mac just said, I'm building an outfit that I I would want to wear out. You know, like I want to like actually wear. I don't. I'm ho hoping it doesn't clash. So. I'm going with Danny Zuko's tight black shirt from Greece. It's classic. It's simple. It stands out. It goes with everything. You know, you can wear it to a nightclub. You can wear it to a funeral. You know, it all it all works. <sighs> that's okay. that's a solid pick. Solid pick. Solid foundation for an outfit. I'm starting with the foundation. I want to build. Plus, it's if if any. If, I, I know you're a big Greece fan. You're a big musical guy. I am. I thought you were <laughs> taking the T-Birds jacket there. Oh no! So I got I got plenty of jackets lined yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an easy category for it me. Was, so I feel yeah. like I can hang back a little bit on it. I feel like there's a lot of wiggle room in the yeah. Like the, I think Max pick was great, and, and and of course it's definitely like a number one overall type of pick. But I think when you're talking about the amount of uh, options that you have, for me, jacket, hoodie, vest. I feel like there's other things you can incorporate there. I'm gonna wait a little bit on that category. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm going to move, I'm going to go next. Obviously I got uh, the third and fourth, so I'm going to go actually with an accessory. This is going to be a pretty loud statement. I think wherever I go, uh, there'll definitely be places I will not be allowed with this accessory. Uh, and I know what you guys are thinking. No, we are not sticking with the anal rings, uh, theme in this one. <laughs> this would actually be problematic in that game. I'm going to go with master shredders, steel claws. Ooh. As one of my accessories, it'd be okay. problematic in a lot of different ways in the bedroom. Yeah. Yes. So you are gearing up for a fight, then? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am. I am ready I did, to go. I did not think that we might have to fist fight each other. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble if that's the case. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think about that either. I was trying to actually look my best to maybe get some pwn. You know. I think. Kind of... <laughs> well, my thing is like I just want to look cool as hell. Like anytime, like we look with a comic book too, especially it's like the character looks really cool. I'm I'm interested, even if I don't know the writer or the artist. I want if the art's good and then it has a cool look i'm interested so i'm gonna start out with shredder's claws because oh my god those things are as badass as it gets now do you pick shredder's claws because they're not a part of him as opposed to wolverine's claws yeah. which are uh, technically a part oh, of him yeah oh, i would say that would okay. i would say that would not be allowed yeah, and uh, that honestly, makes sense the only reason i shredder's claws were not one of the first accessories i thought of but thankfully i have a master shredder <laughs> sitting right next to my work desk at home so i was all set <laughs> now could an adamantium skeleton be an accessory i don't i i don't I don't think so. I, that's, yeah. that's a question I, we have to I ask. I feel like me. an accessory has to be on the outside. Yes. So that's, that rules that out. In 2023, yeah. there's a lot of things that could be accessories that you could get added or taken away from your bodies. I don't, I don't know. I think it's all open, you know? Just, yeah. You know, I'm you just want to ask argument. the question. Yeah, that's fair. Um, all right. So next, I think I'm going to go with shoes for this next one. Um, and I know, Wes, you thought, oh, maybe Nick will take cowboys. But I'll tell you what, man. I could definitely – cowboy boots. I, was, I could definitely think of cowboy boots – like from movies, but I couldn't think of like who they belong to necessarily other mm. than obviously Ted Mosby in how I met your mother, which is obviously a show, but also those mm. are embarrassing mm -hmm. red boots. Mm. Um, yeah, but I can't go with any like iconic boots other than like 
there's the one from Roadhouse, the guy that has the boot that has like a blade that sticks out of it. But that's kind of, that's, that's pretty badass. That's but it's good. also, you know what? Now that we're talking about doing it for a fight, I think I got to take those boots. That's what I'm wow. actually going to do. I don't know. I can't like talk myself into that. Wow. I had, I had a totally different pick there. But now that I'm, t- I'm leaning towards fighting, I got to go with those. So knives on your fingers and knives on your boots. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are a dangerous man. Yes. You're going to be slow, though, so we'll just run away from you. I'll tell you what. Th- those won't even be the most dangerous part of my outfit. I'm telling you oh, right boy. now. That's a big market tease right there. Now, if I were to take, in, in my turn here, uh, uh, Heath Ledger's Joker's knife boot, now we could just have Ooh. a little kicking fight there. Now that, that would be really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that's a good just call. Re- really just tearing up our shins. Mm, damn. Um, okay. I'm not I'm not going to go that route though. That's that's a, I'm going to be able to I think I can save my pants and bottoms. I, I feel like that's uh going to stay. So I think I can hold <sighs> off on that for a while. Um I'm going to go with sneakers. And we're going to go right back to uh back to the future. Marty McFly's Nike Mag sneakers from uh uh, Back to the Future Part Two. You could actually buy these in real life. I haven't, so I, I, I guess I could do this here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Marty McFly's Mag sneakers. There, they're super cool. Nice. Yeah, that's a great pick. I was really hoping they were going to slide to me here because I was going to take them with one of my next two and oh, just build Marty McFly. I guess. <laughs> uh, no, great pick. Awesome looking shoe. So awesome. So popular that, like you said, they literally created them in real life. Yeah, that's that's an awesome one. There's a couple. Um, shoes that like like we talk about that like they, where they they go and make them in real life there's actually a pair that i own that i considered picking for this draft but uh you know obviously i went in a different direction i'm curious if mac ends up going there mm-hmm. and and i think i'm going for you know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go a little understated here so i need something to kind of stand out the shoes will do that you know let everything else let the shoes talk in the outfit that's that's where i'm building here yeah mm-hmm. that's a, the that's foundation a good one. that's a good one right there for sure Ah, shit. All right. So that, that changes my pick here a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to build on my upper layer here. Really, really make a nice, uh, nice top. I'm going to take uh, the vote for Pedro t-shirt from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the red text of the vote for Pedro will also be complemented by the red vest of Marty McFly. Uh, iconic t-shirt. Comfortable because it's just a regular t-shirt. Instantly recognizable. And everyone gets that reference. And I'm going to piggyback that with uh, John Belushi's college sweatshirt from Animal House. Just that's a nice plain one. gray says college right across the front. And that's going to look nice underneath my vest as well. OK, so we'll mo- we'll have the vest and the accessory and then yeah, the jacket. Yeah, yeah, officially yeah. getting moved to the accessory category. Gotcha. You know, I got to gotcha. say, I, I was not thinking about taking the vote for Pedro shirt originally. But then as I kind of started going with the look that I've developed, I was like, oh, this would be a nice little like weird contrast to have vote for pedro with my boots and my shredder steel claws but you fucking ruined that you bastard uh siri well you know he took one from me i took one from you all right there we go so i gotta take one from west now i got it this is this is a strong new england look here with the gray college sweatshirt with the with the red vest jacket i could see that in the fall maybe outdoors at a tailgate sort of thing college party yep i, it's, I it's, see that I've worn a similar outfit myself in the past. So mm-hmm, like you said, mm-hmm. I'm sort of building something that I could see myself wearing. And and maybe Nick is too. Who knows? Maybe there's something about Nick that we just haven't <laughs> found out yet. And he's just a, really into knife play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is going back to me here. I'm back in the middle. Nice in the sandwich. Um, so I was thinking, uh, you know, this is. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with a pack of Morley cigs. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with uh, Morley cigarettes like like I was, I had to do a Google search on this. This is the most popular brand of fictional cigarettes. It's been used for like 60 years in movies and television and, and apparently even video games. So give me a pack of Morley cigs as an accessory to roll up into my tight black T-shirt and the sleeve right there. So I can just kind of roll it up and go real greaser style with it. Yeah, you okay. got to... You got to compliment that that T-shirt with those cigs. I oddly knew that because, of course, Goo knew that. He he led me down that path one day. I think oh, if they yeah. created the brand so that they didn't have to pay any real cigarettes any money, and it just stuck around for so long. Exactly, and it looks almost like a pack of Marlboros. Right, Marlboros. Right. Yeah. Okay, that is uh, that. I like that, Wes. Like the direction you're taking it. Um, mm-hmm. I'm obviously going mm-hmm. in a very different direction. I'm curious if we're going to like list off our scenarios afterwards. Um, so I got back to back picks here all right so i told you that i was gonna have something that's more dangerous um 
than the knife boots and the shredder steel claws. I think I'm going to do that here with one of my back to back picks. Uh, so under jacket, hoodie, vest, this is the moment of truth actually here, Wes. I'm mm. curious, would a cape be allowed in that? Situation? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's that goes over a poncho, maybe that, that's, the like, shoulders. that's like half of a poncho. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so then in that case, I think there are two. Uh, pretty strong capes that are out there that could be very helpful in this situation. I think most people now would go with one that we've seen in the MCU a lot, but I'm actually going to go with one that I think Mac will appreciate a little bit more. And Lord knows I will. I'm going to go with Spawn's cape Ooh. as my jacket, hoodie best category pick. Wow. You, so we, I think I have a list of 30 things and I'm, I'm about to say, I don't think any of my things are on your list. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I have some more like normal picks in here. But, yeah, well, you uh, can't yeah, use I, them anymore. <laughs> well, Nick, Nick is going to, the second accessory is going to be black eyeliner so we can hang out hot yeah. topic. Cur currently Nick's character is nude with claws, boots, and a cape. <laughs> Well, it's got me thinking about strippers. So um, there, there it is. Yeah, that's good. I guess we just have different ideas for that. But um, but yeah, well, when we get to pants, that'll be probably my most tame pick because I just have no fucking clue what to do there. But you know what? Let's keep getting weird. I'm going to go with accessory number one. And again, I'm not sure where you're going to stand on this one, Wes. You are you did set the rules. This was all your idea. I'm going to go with, uh, you know, again, I'm prepared for a fight. Maybe I don't need this because I have Spawn's cape and in the steel claws and the steel toe boots. But I want it anyways because it could give me some extra range. I'm going to go with Saruman's staff walking stick because why not? Sure. It's they a walking stick. Yeah. I can use it climbing up mountains. I could use it to get people from long range. You know, and wow. Saruman's stick, I feel like it's a little bit, it fits a little bit better. Um, it's Maybe it's a little bit more powerful, full of a statement because it's white as opposed to getting off the gray's actual wood staff, like brown wood staff. But either way, yeah, I, I wanted to go with Saruman over Gandalf on this one. Okay. All right. So this is really now. How do how do the claws kind of work with the walking stick? Right. Does that kind of right. get the grip action work, or you know, like have, have you thought about this? Yeah, I, I actually I, I did think about this. I was like, how is this gonna look? It'll look fucking weird, but it, uh, I think well, it feels right. Yeah, to well, me. there's no doubt about that. Yes. Yeah, so, you know what I could do? I could just go with the one like this day. Like you know, I want to bring the staff out. Maybe I just only rock rock one steel claw. I feel like After that would look good. After mm -hmm. your picks, I feel like Dwight Schrute playing second <laughs> yeah. where I'm wearing the exact same stuff. I have the exact same job, except I can just fly. Yeah, that's, that's going to be it there. We, I'm not sure if we really thought outside the box here on this. <laughs> All right. So this is back to me here in the middle. Um, let's see. Okay. So I got the sneakers. Uh, I got the shirt. I got one accessory. Um you know, I'm going to go with the jacket. Give me Ryan Gosling's white bomber jacket with the scorpion emblem from Drive. Super badass. Bring him back the bomber jacket. So now i got the white jacket with the black t-shirt uh, and, and the Nike shoes. And, and i got a pack of cigs there just re ready to rip. So I'm like a oh. like a new age James Dean. It's a great look. It's a great look. Strong, I actually look. I love thinning, that thinning. jacket. I love that jacket. Yeah. Obviously, the black shirt underneath is going to make that pop. Great pick. I did oh, show yeah. up in my, my research, and I, I, by the way, I love Drive, but I'll never forget. I was watching it with my dad and my brother. I think did that come out when we were like high school ish, like 2010, maybe. Yeah, 2010? yeah, yeah okay, yeah, so high school, college range. Okay, but I remember my dad saying it out loud for watching the movie. Is, they, is he gonna fucking talk in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> First, like 30 minutes, just nothing, crickets. He's made a great career without saying anything. Yeah, like he's he's really mastered that. He's just sit there. He just plays like everyone's bluff. I would love to see him in a negotiating meeting where he just sits down, crosses his legs, and then stares across from the other table and won't break until the other guy talks. I and think he, he just like talks himself up. He's like five million. No, no, okay, we'll give you ten million then. All right. <laughs> I think like growing up, the master at just like looking cool without actually doing anything was Will Smith. And I think mm -hmm. Ryan Gosling has taken that mantle over for him. He can just uh, stand yeah. in the room and he looks great. Yeah, I mean, with I this movie and with uh, uh, Crazy Stupid Love, yep. I mean, that, that was like a whole different level, right? I, I didn't want – obviously, I was going in a very different direction than Crazy Stupid Love, but I honestly thought one of you guys were going to have a pick from that. I didn't expect Drive. I actually have Drive on my list too. Yeah, yeah. I, I looked at some things there, some some pant options there, but I realized the pants are all the same. Nothing's really going to stand out if I get an iconic pair of slacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess that's that's what i'm weighing here so i've got a list of three pants and i don't really love any of them not for my outfit anyways but i think the one that's going to make the most sake or makes make the most sense 
is uh, Rocky's gray sweatpants from Rocky to the, mm. the the montage running through the streets. Comfrey oh, gray yeah. sweats, you know, conservative pick here, but it's going to work with with the outfit I'm building. Uh, so that gives me a shirt, pants, a jacket, one accessory. So I need shoes and another accessory. Uh, Wes took my top shoes option. And although I kind of want to take Dorothy's ruby red slippers here, <laughs> I'm going to take a, the Nike blazers in the white and Carolina blue from the American cinema classic like Mike. Dude, oh, that, that was on there. That yes, was there. Yep. that was on the list too. I was thinking about that. That's a great one. By the way, that the whole story in that, in case anybody knows, it's total bullshit. Cause, <laughs> cause, cause Michael Jordan didn't like Nike till he was right out of college. He yeah, I'm trying like to it. think. I'm trying to think. Right? Did he wear Adidas at Carolina, or yeah, was were they wearing Nikes then? He, he wore, I don't know. He had Converse? to wear that. He had to wear a pair of shoes that they whatever they were, they were like sponsored by, but then he would switch right out of them. Now this is what they say uh, in air, okay. which yeah, seems to right. be more realistic than like Mike, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah. So with this pick, I may or may not now have the basketball prowess of a one Michael Jordan. So. I think hey. you do. This, this is the, the second life where you're just the same person, but you're just really good <laughs> at basketball. <now>. Yeah. <laughs> I kill it in the rec leagues on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Yeah. Oh, now you can get out of a fight with me too. You just got to jump away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. didn't see this coming that's good yeah that's a good point that's oh, a good point so this, it's still with you now on uh on the pants to close out no i took the uh the rocky pants rock oh that's right he goes pants. last yeah that's right i had you in the rock last wrong spot here i got lost in the snake fells okay so it's to <laughs> me uh it's time now uh there's a lot of different things that could go with the accessories. I got the pack of six. I think the other option here is the Springfield Armory M1911 pistol. It's a gold pistol. It's a Nick Cage's gun from Face Off. Uh, so I think it would match well with that. I, I, I'm obviously going to need a little bit of protection in this situation. I got a guy who can jump through the gym and someone with knives on his boots. So I, I think I need to protect myself. Uh, just a little bit. And I think if I'm going for a Miss Justeria girl type of it, look there, I'm going to need to, you know, protect myself from all these, uh, uh, upset, upset bows. Yeah. I can't believe how much I've influenced you guys now with all of my picks. <laughs> this is, I did not see this coming at all. If this was Billy on there, here with us, he'd be bullying me the entire time. Just, he's going to be so disappointed in you, Mac. It's, oh, I'm, my guys just, you know, fight or flight. My guys completely leaving all set. See you later. <laughs> All right, uh, my pick. Yes, yes, it right. is. Yeah. All right, so I got, and obviously yeah, back to back. So I have shirt and pants. All right, shirts a real tough one, and that's the one where I have uh, I had a t shirt lined up for that um, from a uh, sorry from a um from a show, but I'm not gonna go there because I don't want to run into any disqualification potential or anything like that. So I am pretty much down to two options here. Uh, I have I got wood, which is worn by Ed in Shaun of the Dead. Mm, great shirt. And, mm -hmm. and then I have the Flash Gordon shirt worn, mm. of course, by Flash Gordon. Um, now, in the past, Flash Gordon has really fucked me over because that was my walkout song in my <laughs> junior year. And anytime you hear people make fun of my baseball stats in college, it's all because my fucking junior year it was a nightmare in the few games that I played in. So I'm, I'm thinking better of this. I'm not going with Flash Gordon. That was I'm too showboaty of a song. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it came back to bite you. You can't do that. Yeah. It was either that or be basic and have uh, a, a Dropkick Murphy song. I was going to say, I'm, Dropkick Murphy. That's, that's what her. you got to do. <laughs> yeah, but if you, look at, if you look at my ERA, if you look at the split, Let's ERA based on the the uh, musical artist of my walkout song. My ERA is like sub four, I think. When you when you take those games out, uh, the Flash Gordon games. But yeah, we I need Carmine Analytics to uh, start <laughs> analyzing walkout music and then like in correlation to stats and see if they're what comes out there. I so, like how many years now have you been excusing your junior year for how bad your stats look? Uh, <laughs> I just never forgot. That felt, it was that so felt bad. deep seated. Yeah. It was, dude, I was so mad every time. Like, I, I, well, dude, how can I, I mean, that was the hardest I'd ever thrown. And then up until senior, you know, even senior year, I was playing injured. So it's was like, how do I not look at that and say, like, the fucking walkout song, you were just such a dumbass. And you got so, like, your head got so big for no fucking reason. Oh, I'm going to go and do it because it's in Ted and everyone will think it's cool. <laughs> Jackass has like an 11 ERA in like seven games. What the hell is this shit? So, Did you yeah. think it might be too much dry humping in the locker rooms? 
this the football locker room, Wes. It's not. Well, I'm just. Hey, I don't know. They're all the same at this point, you know. No, you'll find out what happened in the, the baseball locker rooms this week. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope that's a promise. It won't be. I got wood. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, or maybe it will be. Oh, who knows? <laughs> but uh, oh, sorry. I got to make my other pick. Jeez, yes, we're getting all caught up pick. in my yeah. Flash Gordon stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, so pants. This is a tough one. It's funny, Wes, that you brought up Gosling's jeans and drive because I, I'm like, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna have to go with. The other one was like, I was like, Bradley Cooper's jeans and his jeans and a star is born. I don't know where else to go here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just, I want jeans, so they kind of go with everything, and it brings this outfit together. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Ryan Gosling's jeans and drive. Fair enough. Drive solid, jeans. solid. Can't go wrong with denim. I got wood. What's that from? I'm as I'm making notes here. What's oh, that? Oh, uh, Shaun of the Dead t-shirt yeah yes worn by ed might be a little big on me but we'll make it work okay so this is coming back to me here uh, my pants this is it i much like nick was just saying i just wanted a pair of jeans uh but i want something that's loose and comfortable and i think this guy felt very comfortable in his own skin there so give me jake gyllenhaal's wrangler jeans from Brokeback mountain <laughs> felt very comfortable in them so comfortable he took him off a couple of times. So I think this will work very well. Uh, again, black t-shirt, white bomber jacket, Nike mag sneakers, pack of cigs, gun. I'm like Americana all over the place. Yeah, you could be in any movie from like 1945 <laughs> to 1975. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm re- re- get maybe like a slick a comb if I had an accessory number three that I could just stick in the mm. back pocket of the Wranglers so I can always just kind of take it out and just mm. swoop wow. back. Those those jeans may come with lube in them as well, so that's a free accessory. It could, yes. So, hey, who knows? It might luck out. <laughs> Score a ma- nice magnum condom in there. Uh, Peeking out the back. Oh, all right. Uh, I'll finish this off here. Um, I don't know if this is cheating or not, but I'm going to take Mary Poppins' umbrella, the little, uh, little uh, parrot on the handle there. So now yeah. I definitely can escape from uh, you guys' uh, battle and just float above y'all because – I want nothing to do with that. But uh, as accessories go, pretty iconic. That's yeah. that's great. I don't, I don't think I got any problems with that. And plus, if it rains, you're ready. You know, like All and set, I, an umbrella is a very classy uh, accessory these right. days. Right, and it could double as a club if I really needed to take a take a knock at someone. Look, I love I like my, that my my outfit, but I think that Matt and I'm not saying that I necessarily was like locked in to win it at this point. But Matt taking that right there, that was the absolute steal of the draft. You may win on that alone. <laughs> What? Now, Mr. was it Irrelevant. James Bond or the Kingsman that had an umbrella that was like a, a shield that came out, but also Kingsman. shot guns? Was it Kingsman. the Kingsman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it that, was. That would be a good one there, too. Yeah. Definitely thought good, about actually. them at some point, but I was just, I just couldn't. Uh, it was some of this stuff was harder to find than I expected. Like mm. finding, I kept typing in iconic pants. Like someone's going to look at my browser history and have some questions <laughs> for me know, yeah, going into yeah. this wedding. Well, so have this. Ha- Halfway through the prep, I had like 15 jackets and one pair of pants. So I was like, oh, maybe I should yeah. stop going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the jackets were fun. That was a fun, fun uh, category to go down here. But I, I found myself trying to get into the same mindset of Immaculate Grid. And like, all right, so what's like an old school movie here that I could think of that'll stand right, out? And I'm like right, racking right. my brain for it. And it just uh, didn't didn't pop out there. But before we run through our entire draft, uh who uh and any honorable mentions? Who do we leave out? Uh, uh I got back. for I got quite a few. You want me to just run through everything I got? Yeah, here? run through what you got. All right. Um, Alan's t-shirt from the hangover, the one that has like the orange sun looking mm, thing on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, I also thought Uma Thurman's whole yellow tracksuit might have been in play here from Kill Bill. That's pretty I, iconic look. There. I like that, but that's tough with the tracksuit. Right? I know there's no like guarantee everything. you could get both unless you had the sandwich picks. Um, sloth Superman cutoff shirt from the Goonies. I really thought about mm-hmm. taking that instead of going with Pedro. Um, I mentioned Dorothy's ruby red slippers. And then I was looking at some more accessories, too. I was considering Neo's sunglasses from the Matrix. Can sure. never have uh, enough su- pairs of sunglasses. True. Um, also, Bender's uh, gloves from the Breakfast Club. Another mm. iconic uh, outfit accessory mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Doesn't don't form, doesn't doesn't really do anything for you, but it looks cool. And then Wesley Snipes' hat. Uh, with the upturned bill from White Man Can't Jump. That's a oh great yeah, oh that's a that's nice a good one. one. I, like, Tom Cruise Way Band uh, Ray Band Wayfarers from Risky Risky Business. I'm way more of a Wayfarer type of guy than a uh, uh, aviator glasses. So I thought about that. The whip from Indiana Jones. That's just mm. nice to carry around. That's kind of intimidating. Mm-hmm. You can get away quickly, but that's on the mind from Indiana Jones for me there. Um, Scotty Smalls at Long Bring Cap in the in the Sandlot. 
I thought that was kind of fun. That's asking that's kind of for fun, an man. L there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good time. That's a good time. Uh, you know, if I was going to take the, you know, I took the Morley Sigs, uh, the other option was to go with Depp's cigarette holder from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, I thought those were really cool. You know, they, from back in the day, the old Virginia Slim moms used to drink, the, you know, use those so they wouldn't get uh, uh, cigarette smoke on their fingers and stuff. So mm. interesting stuff there. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the Boost Boots from Super Mario Brothers, the live action Super oh, Mario Brothers. Oh, I forgot <sighs> about that. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that would have been a good one. How about Red's uh, Black and Red Komodo from Pineapple Express, uh, Danny McBride? Yeah, thought that would be nice if one. I was in a casual mm-hmm. mode there, you mm-hmm. know, just kind of relaxing. I think that would mm-hmm. be cool. Uh, Austin Powers' Crushed Blue Velvet Suit. Mm. See, that's mm-hmm. another one where yep. you'd have to get sandwich picks there to guarantee you get the whole look. Yeah, yep. exactly. and Because it, it would clash otherwise. You yeah. Know? Yes. Yeah. I thought maybe a couple leather jackets. I was I'm, I was really into a leather phase there with with T uh, two uh, Judgment Day. You know, yeah. yeah. Uh, Actually, speaking of that, there. Um, Denzel's leather jacket from Training Day. I, mm. I had on my list as well. Which, mm-hmm. if you were building that type of character, would have been would have been good. That would have been. I, I bought a couple of James Bond uh, uh, watches there. So my favorite was the Omega Seamaster three hundred M. It has a grappling hook in it from the World Is Not Enough. So you don't even need the grappling gun of Batman as an accessory. That's you got real. the watch. You're still a debonair, dapper man. Mm-hmm. And you can just get out of there. To, like, really Irish exit. Look I've never you. really been a watch guy. I, I just don't. I don't like them. I'll wear them like if I'm going out with a nice outfit. But on a day to day, I don't. I don't have anything on the wrist. Hmm. I need the metrics. I need. I need the stats of the Apple Watch. I need, my I need steps. to know how many steps. Yeah, I need <laughs> to know what my my resting heart rate is. I need to know what the temperature is in Tempe right now. Like all that stuff. I'll tell you what. I had a, a watch after college, and I didn't have it for a while. My brother got me one for his uh, as a gift for like his wedding and stuff. And I'm blown away that how now when I don't wear it, like I will have days where like if I'm not wearing it, I check and it's like oh fuck, I don't have my watch on. <laughs> I never would have thought that would happen to me, but like it's happened multiple times recently. Wow. What about yeah. Ferris Bueller's vest from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? There, it's, a, it's not exactly yeah. cheetah print, but it's kind of like that. Yeah, it it's, it's a little more slimming. Not not a great look for a bigger guy, but mm-hmm. it, it can work. No, no, the the, the skinny twinks. Uh, you know, that's who really it's with <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah, they can pull it off there. How about the dude's loose knit uh, cardigan uh, from great uh, uh, Big Lebowski? Great lounge attire. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, but again, I was going for Mr. Steeler Girl, so I wanted, yeah. you know, you can't be looking like a schlub. Three very, very different outfits. You got Mr. Steeler Girl. I'm a little more comfort fall type vibe, and Friar's mm-hmm. just trying to kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you may get a couple warnings uh, from a local high school uh, SRO, you know? Like, uh, the, the school resource officer is going to be looking a little little closely at them. <laughs> I got a, I got a couple. Uh, I definitely could have gone in a different direction here based on some of my picks, but hey, whatever. Uh, Wes, did you go through all of yours? Yes. Yes, I did. And Mac, did you go through all your jackets? You said you had like 15. I do. I do have a, four, a few more, but I didn't want to steal everyone's thunder. No, go ahead, please. All right. I, we, 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 mentioned, my thunder. we mentioned the T-Bird jacket. I thought here... If I went with Wes's sort of thing, that kind of look, I might have taken the pink ladies jacket as an accessory just from mm-hmm. my gal, you know, throw it, throw it around her. Oh, a nice, nice couple situation there. Look at you thinking of others. That's a, that's a good move. <laughs> and then of course, uh, Tyler Durden's red leather jacket from, yes. uh, mm-hmm. from um, fight, fight club. club. And mm-hmm. then also uh, the dusters from the matrix. Other great jackets. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm surprised Nick didn't take that again. That just fits perfectly with what we're doing here. Yeah, there is some um, some stuff in there that I was I was thinking about. Like that, I I mean, I did have Tyler Durden's red leather jacket. I mean, it, it's a great look too. I mean, I th- I thought about it, but it's just like I wanted the cape so bad. And of course, the other cape that I was alluding to was Doctor Strange's cape. Um, obviously, it could be very useful in a tight spot. Sticking Ooh. with the whole the whole jacket theme though, John Constantine's trench coat. Wolverine's leather jacket from Origins, um, a, a Ravager jacket, uh, Sons of Anarchy cut, which if you mm. actually wore one of those in public right now, you might have someone chirp you and make you take it off. I've, I don't, have you guys ever seen that video? Some guy gets bullied into taking off his Sons of Anarchy cut. Oh, he a real biker bullied yeah. him into taking it off. That's yeah, he's like, he's, yeah, he's like, people have like bled and died for like these things. Like you can't wear it. It's like a show prop. It's like, what are you crazy? Oh, I have man. a shirt. 
but that's it. Yeah, um, yeah. Moving on to the accessories. So I actually own, well, the chain got all kind of dirtied up, but my brother, again, he buys me all a ton of stupid shit because he knows how I am. But uh, I still have at least the the, the Witcher medallion, um, but I would buy uh, I would the, um, the necklace, but obviously not eligible because it's from a show. Um, mm, to- mm-hmm. Tommy Shelby's scally cap from Peaky Blinders. I was thinking about a scally cap from a movie. You know, I was trying to think of a, a good Boston movie to choose that from there, but mm. I, I can't pull off the scally cap. That's not, that's not for me. I don't know if I could Mac does, right? You own. Yeah. 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 I own the problem with the scally cap is they make one sort of to compliment like any outfit you could wear. Mm. And I own four. And at what point do I need to stop buying scally caps? You know, I think four <laughs> is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will say with these, again, it would have fit my theme. They, Tommy held, hit a razor blade in the mm. in the brim so that was mm. part of their thing um the anyways <laughs> yeah, clearly um <laughs> jack sparrow's hat obviously would have been a loud statement um indiana jones's hat the gloves from drive you brought up uh benders mm, those were mm-hmm, great pick with mm-hmm. the gloves and then my last accessory which i feel like i don't know maybe people are gonna be annoyed that i didn't take this i feel like i should have magneto's helmet um, oh, that's a huge <laughs> miss. That's a huge miss. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, just, uh, I had. I, I needed the other two accessories. Uh, as for the shoes, the the only other one that I thought was like I thought you guys might take, and I was con- considering doing before I talked myself into the Roadhouse boots was uh, Benny the Jets PF flyers. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. So and that, those are the ones that dawned on me while we were doing this. Yeah. I own flyers, and you can get them real cheap. And there's a fucking reason you can get them cheap because they suck. <laughs> You need to have absolute flat feet for those to feel comfortable. They used to kill me. Ugh. No way. But the last to end it all out, too, I had um, Mud's Lucky Shirt. So that's from um, the movie Mud with Matthew McConaughey. Supposedly mm-hmm. it could protect you from snake bites. Might have been more appropriate for my outfit, quite honestly. Uh, <laughs> and then Eddie Munson's Hellfire Club shirt. Obviously, it's my background all the time. I wanted mm-hmm. to take that. That's where I was conflicted and obviously didn't go that route. Okay, I love it. Yes, yeah, so that's all great stuff there. And maybe you at home, let us know what we missed or what you were billed for your favorite uh, iconic movie outfit. Sure. Yeah, there it is. That We got it. Put the uh, okay. It. okay. <laughs> yeah, felt, felt really strong about that one. Uh, Mac, you're our guest. Why don't you run through your iconic movie outfit for us? Sure. Hold on. I just closed it like an idiot. All right. My <laughs> iconic outfit from... Uh, Shirt on down. We got the vote for Pedro shirt from Napoleon Dynamite. My Rocky gray sweatpants. Uh, my Nike blazers from Like Mike, allowing me to play basketball like Michael Jordan. I got the college uh, crew neck sweatshirt from Animal House. I have Marty McFly's red vest and, of course, Mary Poppins' umbrella. <sighs> I Mary love Poppins, it, Nick. Y'all. Why don't you uh, Why don't you hit us with your your outfit? What do you What do you wear? Oh, oh, quickly though, Mac. What are you doing in this outfit? <laughs> Uh, that's, I, I, it is a, a very, uh, it's an outfit built for utility. I feel like I could do most things in this, maybe not play sports, but I could probably get in, in a, in a quick fight. If I had to, I could escape obviously with mm-hmm, the umbrella, mm-hmm. but I feel like t- you mentioned it earlier. I'm like, this is a perfect outfit for tailgating. I'm at, yeah. a, I'm in a parking lot drinking beer in this. Outfit. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're having, you're having a good time. You're staying warm, maybe in, in a nice, cool, brisk, but you know, you're not sweating. You're not, you don't have too many layers on. It works. You could take the vest off if you'd like. Right. It mm-hmm. plays. It all plays. Okay. Nick, how about you? Uh, why don't you give us your, your outfit and what the hell are you doing in this outfit? Because that's the most pressing question right now. Okay. I, I have that figured out too. Uh, so shirt, uh, I, I got wood t-shirt from Sean of the dead worn by Ed, uh, pants, Ryan Gosling's jeans in drive shoes, the roadhouse knife boots from one of the bad guys, uh, for my jacket hoodie vest category. I have spawns cape. Uh, my first accessory is Master Shredder's knife, uh, knife fingers. What the fuck? It's not Freddy Krueger, you asshole. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Although that could, have, that could have been an accessory, too. That, could, that would have been gone. a good one. Yeah. Uh, but Shredder's, um, what, I, what did I, what did claws. I his claws. claws. Thank you, his claws. Yes. And then um, my other accessory is Saruman's walking stick over uh, Magneto's helmet. Should have gone mm-hmm. with Gandalf. Mm-hmm. That would have been a whole Ian McKellen situation. But um, what am I doing? <laughs> I am going to comic cons all across the country and guess what i don't have to pay for flights because i have spawn's cape so i'm all set and i'm gonna cash mm. in that's all i do for life i'm not gonna be an assassin i'm not gonna save the world take over it or maybe i'll take over because now everyone's gonna be my minions and they're gonna pay to go hang out with me because i have all this cool shit 
you yeah you, you wouldn't would be able to board it. a plane with the uh, go past that's TSA true. with all that that I don't need it there. I have I have the cape I can fly yeah that's, exactly that's right. you would I'd have still to have be the cape. killing it I'd still you, be killing you'd be it. killing it at the Comic Con charging like five ten bucks a photo It'd be nice mm. It'd be a nice life would it be like five ten bucks a- <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. it'd be a sweaty life yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is true. That's all. That's all great stuff here. Okay, so I am. Uh, I, I got Danny Zuko's black T-shirt from Greece, tight black T-shirt. Uh, but I'm going with the uh, maybe broken in, broke back mountain blue jeans from Jake Gyllenhaal there to kind of measure it out. I got the Nike Mag sneakers from Marty McFly, Back to the Future Part Two. Uh, the top off to go over the black T-shirt. It's Ryan Gosling's white bomber jacket from Drive. Uh, and then, and then maybe in the uh, back pocket, kind of just sticking out of the, the rear end of the jeans. There, I got the Springfield Armory Gold Pistol from Nick Cage uh, in Face Off, and then rolled up into the black T-shirt on, on one of the sleeves are uh, a pack of Morley Six. And what I'm doing, I'm going out to a pool hall, going out to uh, some place with a jukebox that I can kind of elbow and get a song playing. Uh, maybe maybe a place uh, where I can slide a shot down to a woman across the bar to kind of make a scene. Any sort of thing like that. I'm looking for women with wedding rings uh, that are looking to take them off for a night. Wow. That's that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm, I'm a PUA for the night. I'm a pickup artist. A lot of leaning on walls, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. One foot up against it, kind of leaning. Maybe got my arms back, like, <laughs> crossed and folded. Just kind of scoping out the scene, man. I love the pool hall call it. too. It's so, it's so <laughs> ridiculous. It's been anything of pool hall junkies. I haven't seen that movie in a while. It, it could, yeah. It, it all plays. It all plays here. So uh, that that's it. That's the uh, the definitive iconic movie outfit draft. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise here. Uh, Mac, thank you so much for joining us. Or do you want do you want to stick around for the discharge depot? You want to you want to buy a ticket? Sure, I don't. Why not? I got. We need to stick around because I don't know what the hell he's doing on <laughs> on his, on the show this week. 